Hi, welcome to week 13 of my Sydney Marathon training plan. This one promises to be the biggest week yet. I've got an effort-based workout on Tuesday. I've got a massive 26K endurance workout on Friday and a two hour 45 long run. So let's get into it. Good morning, Tuesday morning, and we're starting another week. It is incredible to think that in four weeks time, I will have run a marathon. So we're less than four weeks to go. It is absolutely terrifying because I don't know if I can run that pace for that far. I'm confident I can run the distance, but it's whether or not I can do it at the pace. Oh man, this is starting to get to mind bending territory. It's a little bit scary, a little bit exciting. But yeah, we'll get there. A couple of weeks of hard training to go, then a nice taper. Two big long runs to go, two hours 45 this week, and then next week is a long run and a session combined. So that one's gonna be a toughie. But yeah, this week, we're back into normal training mode. So Tuesday, so workout tonight, that's gonna be based on feel. I'll talk more about that this afternoon. Then workout Friday and long run Sunday. This will be the biggest week of the training block. I can see it already. All right, it's going to be a big week. Let's get into it. Good afternoon. Tuesday afternoon. I've just done the first rep of the workout. I hate this workout. Joel, if you're watching, don't ask me to go by effort. Hate it. I know, I know. That's what you want to get to, where you can feel the effort. But I just hate it. I, I don't, I'm not dialed in to how my body feels running at certain paces. I'm just not, I can't feel it. I'm not there yet. So yeah, I find this sort of workout really, really hard. The workout's on screen. 2K at 80%, 1K at 85, 1K at 90%, then 2K at 80, back at 80%. But I just don't know what I'm doing. And the instructions were to avoid looking at the watch. So that's really, really hard. So, all my complaining's out of the way. First set done, first rep done. I'll put the uh, pace on screen. I think it was 80%. I don't know. Ah. All right, back onto it. Ah, rep two at 85% done. What is the difference between 5%? Is it five seconds a K? Is it five beats per minute heart rate? I don't know. You can see how cranky I get when I don't know what I'm doing. Just upsets me. Anyway, that rep's done. This one's gonna be a bit harder. 90%, only got 60 seconds rest too. So I'm gonna go for it. I might cross the road first. All right, I'll see you at the end of the next rep. Bye. And 90% effort done. That definitely felt harder, but was it any faster or did it just feel harder because I went too hard on the first ones? I don't know, but we'll see. See when we get home. So I've now got an 80% rep, so I've got to cool down. Just chill. 2K rep at 80%. It's gonna be a challenge. I've got to get my breathing right, I think. I think that's gonna be the hardest part. Get myself settled to a point where I can figure out what 80% felt like. I'm a little bit more positive now because the workout's almost over. Definitely feel like I've cheated though, because I don't think I went hard enough. We'll see. See you at the end. Bye. Okay, and I'm stopping that there. Uh, I think that was about one and a half K, so about 500 meters to go in that rep. But um, I don't know what it is. Left shin is feeling stiff. And you know, over a couple of hundred meters, I tried to keep running and it just kept getting stiffer. So, that's a concern and I don't need concerns like that now. So I'll take it easy, play it safe. I'll try jogging a little bit in the cool down, but if it's still stiff, I will just stop. I'll walk home and I'll finish it there. It shouldn't be anything. It, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Yeah, like it's not painful, it just feels stiff. All right, we'll see. Bye. 
Well, that's not how I wanted the workout to finish. Um, I guess it is what it is. Um, still a fair bit of tightness there. Um, I don't know what's brought this on. I did roll my ankle in one of those reps, in the first rep, just trying to avoid a dog and hit a rough patch and it went over just slightly. Um, but nothing too bad. I didn't get any pain at the time. So I don't know, maybe this is just something from that. Maybe something stretched or pulled or whatever. It just feels tight. Not really painful. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it feels tomorrow. Bye for now. Good news! It's Wednesday and I'm running. No pain. No pain this morning. No pain in the shin area as I've been running to work this morning. I think my hypothesis was right that rolling the ankle slightly in that first rep just tweaked the ankle a little bit even though I didn't feel it just tweaked a few things so a bit of weakness there by the end of the workout so yeah a bit of awareness in the ankle but the shin feels good we're back baby see you Sarve. good morning Thursday morning easy run to work probably cutting along a little bit faster than I should be um, just feeling it a little bit aerobically although that could be the new shirt testing out the new Perskin doll shirt see if it's race worthy see if I can do races in it it's not bad so far but it could be a bit hot we'll see how it goes on the way home anyway five ish k's done ready for this afternoon's run bye good afternoon just a quick check in 40 minutes in to a run home, 45 minutes, nice and easy. Two into a chat. But yeah, easy day. Ready for the workout tomorrow morning. 26 Ks. Ooh. See you tomorrow. So Friday's workout, and I was very, very nervous going into this one. On the plan was four by 5K at marathon pace with two minute floats in between. So what we're talking about there is stepping up to 20 Ks worth of work with one to two Ks worth of float and about 5K worth of warm up and cool down. 26K in total, definitely gonna be the biggest marathon session I've done. A huge, huge session. So it was intimidating, but I was confident going in. I'd had the four by 4K the previous week with two minutes float that I'd absolutely smashed. So I was feeling okay heading into it. Good morning, Friday morning, I'm on my way to work and the endurance workout for the day is done. Four by 5Ks today and that was Brutal. It was an absolute battle right from the get-go. Had a shocking night's sleep last night. And then just, I was late getting out the door. And then just, yeah, the first rep, I was working way too hard just to hit 416, 417 pace. So then I sort of had a gel in the first float. And then after I had that gel, things started to feel a little bit better. But still, because I'd worked so hard in that first rep to sit at 4.16 pace, I was overworking in the second rep. And then come to the third rep and I hit the hills, absolutely blew up. So coming to the hills, I turned around the corner. I thought, oh, you know, I've been running into the wind so much. It's got to be, you know, come around this corner. and It's got to be a tailwind. And the wind had turned around. By the end of that third wrap, I was pretty much done. Hit the downhill, did the float, and then went into that third, into that final wrap, and was really, really struggling. And had to really work hard to get through, and work through a few demons to get there. Um, really, really happy though how I finished off with the last two k's because I really smoked it and like got back, got back on track, and got the legs feeling. Okay, so now sitting in the car, legs are absolutely killing me. I am absolutely spent. Um, this this workout has knocked a fair bit of confidence. I was really confident going into it. It's knocked me a little bit, but I know that in the race, I'm going to have to work through those sort of mental battles. So I'm glad that I've had it. And I know that come race day, I'll be looking back at this workout and going, yeah, I got through it that day. This is how I got through it. I can get through this. So yeah, not fun to be in, but a good workout to get done for the purposes of finishing a marathon, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's Friday done. On to Saturday tomorrow.
So it comes to Saturday and first thing in the morning I was a uh, run director at my local park run. My legs were tired but that's not unexpected. I got a fair bit of garden work done which I had to do and so then made it out for a run in the afternoon. I gave up after about 3.8k. The sore shin and ankle came back and I was worried. To make things worse, Saturday night my son started throwing up. A Saturday night, didn't get much sleep. Young fella woke up a couple of times and I spent a fair bit of time on his floor. Woke up Sunday morning and the shin and ankle was still very, very sore. No run, so I've spent the day grumpy, worried and catastrophizing about what's going on. I think it's all due to the rolled ankle and just a little bit of ligament damage, but it could be anything. Uh, I'm worried. Like, I'm genuinely worried that this could be the end of my marathon block and my training. I've got physio Tuesday, so we're just going to rest till then and find out what happens. Stay tuned.